put down those unnecessary rocks that you're carrying and mind your own glass of water. And join us here at Mountain Patriot Homestead. Hello and welcome to Mountain Patriot Homestead. As you can tell, it is an absolutely gorgeous day here in the Ozarks. The temperature now is around 74 degrees. The morning temperature this morning was 54. It's given us a little taste of autumn. Of course, it's gonna be summertime starting again tomorrow for the next oh, couple of weeks at least, but you know what? We're going to enjoy it no matter what the weather's doing. Today, I wanted to talk to you about something that I need to hear. Um, I do this, I've done it in the past, um, where I talk to myself and include you on the conversation because there may be somebody else out there that needs to hear this. And um, today I'm going to be talking about dropping rocks and watching your glass. Now that may sound like a couple of odd phrases, but bear with me because here is what I'm talking about. How many of you, I know I am, like I said, I'm talking to myself on this one, but um, I wanted to be accountable to y'all as you watch this. And I am going to say that I am a judgmental person. Now, I'll tell you that just right off the bat. I am a judgmental person. That is probably something I pray the most about because uh, I know I'm not supposed to be judgmental, but I am. And so it's something I struggle with. And so, as I said, these topics today are geared for me, but there may be somebody else out there that may benefit. But first of all, dropping your rocks. And by that, I mean, do you carry around a burden, a sack of rocks that really don't belong to you? Do you feel like you are responsible for other people's behavior? Uh, do you feel like you are, uh, it's up to you to make sure everybody's doing what they're supposed to be doing and, and everything is running smoothly and you're trying to guide things the way they're supposed to go and how you believe they should be. Do you have those type burdens? Well, something that I was thinking about and I think about it frequently, but I was, it's really been on my heart lately, is number one, is it my problem? Is it my behavior? Uh, if, some, if an adult is misbehaving, does that reflect on me? Is that something I need to change? Is that, you know, is that something I need to correct or do I just, let the adult do their thing unless of course it's something that's dangerous or illegal or something like that that's not what I'm talking about but um, if someone is saying something that you don't agree with and, sorry my camera's shaking because the dog was scratching um, do you feel like it Facebook is a prime example where you see people no matter what somebody posts People have to get on there and comment of, you know, well, I don't like, uh, I think you put too much salt in that recipe, or um, I don't think that color looked good on that person, or who cares? Is it your, uh, first of all, is it your clothes and it was it your recipe? You know, that that is something that I know many folks have an issue with of, needing to have input into things that don't concern them. Another thing is, well, I'm not going to, I don't like how they do things. So, you know, I'm, I'm not going there. I'm not going to, I'm, I'm not going to play with you anymore. Uh, I know 
there are comments that are made that, well, I'm not going to a certain town or a certain county or a certain state or a certain region or whatever because I don't agree with them. I don't agree with the way they think. Well, first of all, they don't care. You know, honestly, um, people that get upset with a store because, well, they quit carrying my brand of Watsits. I'm not going there anymore. They don't care because, first of all, there's a whole lot of other people that are going to go in there and shop regardless of whether they have Watsits or not. So, really, they don't care. But as I told someone earlier today, there was a woman got real upset with me because I didn't tell her what she wanted to hear. She wanted me to agree with her about a matter that she was already upset about. And when I couldn't agree with her, she became very upset and, um, you know, just was trying to convince me that I should think the way she thinks. And I finally told her, ma'am, you just do what you think's right, but just be mindful that there's going to be consequences for those behaviors. And that's the way it is. And I think that's really what got me to thinking about this video was that my interaction with that lady today is how many of us are that way that if People don't agree with us. We're immediately defensive and we get upset. And when all we had to do is we can do what we want to do. I mean, honestly, there is nothing we can't do, but there's going to be consequences. Now, whatever it is we're wanting to do, there could be good consequences and there could be not so good consequences. But as adults, we can do whatever we want to do. So, you know, as I say, you do you, boo. But, you know, there may be consequences. So, you know, that's, that's the thing about carrying around a bag of rocks that aren't ours. If someone is not our child, and by child, I don't mean our grown-up child, because once they're grown, you know, you may try to still kind of guide them or give them advice if they ask for it, but regardless, you know, it's, uh, they're grown now, and they're an adult, and they still have to do what they need to do, and the consequences are theirs, so... If, but if you've got a young child and you're the parent or the guardian, uh, the person that's directly responsible for them, then you need to take care of that child because you are the person responsible for their safety and well-being. So you are responsible. But if it's an adult, you're not. Even if it's your spouse, your spouse is a grown-up, hopefully. And though you may advise and you may give wise counsel, you can't make another adult do what you want to. Now, some people may try to force another adult to do what they want to, but in the long run, it's, it's not going to end well. So, you know, if you're not their parent, and their safety and well-being is not your direct responsibility, then they have to do what they need to do. The other thing is, are you their direct supervisor? Is what they're doing going to be your problem if it's not done correctly? Or if it's not done at all? Is that going to be is that going to be a problem for you? If it's not, throw that rock down. You don't need to carry that rock. You don't need to carry the rocks of everybody else that aren't doing what you think they need to be doing. You just need to worry about what you're doing. 
you know, tote your own rocks. Don't tote everybody else's. You know, we've all got our own sack of rocks that's heavy enough for us to bear without having to take on ones that aren't our own. So, being concerned about what others are doing and specifically this I'm not going somewhere because I don't agree with and I don't mean you know going to somewhere that may be immoral or something like that but um, I try to not get into politics on this channel however I, this is this is my one time if you're not going to visit a state because of their po their political views who's losing out that state are you well I am NOT a real I'm not a social butterfly I know y'all find that really hard to believe but I'm not a social butterfly and I don't like to go where there's a lot of people anyway but if I say I'm not going to visit somewhere because somebody there voted against somebody else then who is benefiting from it me or them well, it's really, this thing, of, I'm not spending any money with them. They don't care because other people are going to be spending money there. And let me explain this. If you are not visiting a particular place because you don't want to spend money there, and by place, I mean like a state. You don't want to go to this state because you're not spending any money there. Well, you know what, you probably are spending money there. If you order anything online, if you buy anything out of a store, if you buy anything secondhand, uh, probably at some point you are spending money there. You just don't know you're spending money there because things get freighted through places, things get manufactured in places. Heck, even things come off of a port and you're paying the guy that's unloading the shipping containers and you're paying the guy that's loading the trucks and you're paying the trucker that's bringing them you're you're spending money there so it's not like you know you're you're not supporting them at all because you know frankly you probably are just you're not you don't know that you're directly supporting them so you know anytime that that i think well, I'm not going to do this because, by gosh, I, I just, I'll show them. You know what? They don't care. And so, put those rocks down that, that are weighing you down. Put down the judgments. Put down the, the attitudes. Put down the um, rocks of responsibilities that aren't yours and enjoy what's around you. Enjoy getting to do things and seeing things. If you don't want to go to a certain place, don't go there, you know. But re realize there's going to be, um, there's going to be consequences because you may not get to see something really nice because you don't want to go there. I mean, that's just, I think about that and I think how sad I'm um, I'm about to be 58 years old and no I'm not one of these that's ashamed to tell my age because I never thought I'd live to be this old and neither did a lot of other people so um, I'm I'm just happy I made it this far uh, but I'm fixing to be 58 years old and how sad that if I decided I'm sorry the goose is back here behind me how sad it would be if for the rest of my life I decided that I wasn't going to go somewhere and I wasn't going to do something because, by gosh, I'm going to show people, show who and show what, you know, the only person that's not getting to see and do the things would be me. So, who's, who's not benefiting? And so that's the rocks I'm talking about, about putting down burdens that don't belong to you. The second thing about watch your glass, watch your own glass. 
I've got it sitting here. Let me see if I can get it without spilling it in my lap. Okay. See how full that glass is? That glass is pretty full. Well, let me tell you a story that goes along with this glass. And this is not my story. I read it and... So my word. I'm sorry. This is a farm. Um, I'm going to tell you this story that I read, and so it is probably not going to be exact. I'm sure it's going to be a lot of paraphrasing, but it was a story I read, and I thought how true it is about life in general. But there was this older lady that was in church, had been in this church for many years, and she decided she, she got to looking around one day and the, some of the girls were wearing shorts and boys were didn't have haircuts and their shirts weren't tucked in and people were using their phones instead of Bibles to look up Bible verses and she didn't like the hymns. She didn't know the words to them. So she didn't like didn't like the hymns, didn't like uh, they changed the hours. She didn't like that. And she was just upset because um, there was just so much going on around her that she didn't like. And so she went after the service and told the preacher, I'm not coming back again. I'm done. And he, well, tell me why. And she told him what she had seen and what she had heard, and she didn't like it. And so she was leaving. And he asked her, he said, well, before you leave, would you do one thing for me? And she kind of, you know, a little suspicious, and she said, I guess, what? He said, I want to give you a glass of water, and I want you to walk around the church for, for a little bit, and then when I ask you to come back up here, would you come back, and I'll just have a question for you? And she said, Okay, she thought it was a little weird, but she agreed to it. So he gave her the cup of water, and he filled it to the top, and he said, Okay, now walk around the church without spilling any of your water. So very slowly, she started walking around the church, and of course, keeping a close eye on her glass and watching it and being very careful and she walked and she walked and finally the pastor said, okay, can you come back up here? So she approached him and she was real careful and got back up there and she'd only spilled a few drops of her water by the time she got done because she'd been very careful, but of course her arms started to get tired and her hands started to shake. But she'd only spilled a little of it when she got back up there and the preacher didn't take it directly from her. He let her continue to hold it. And he asked her, well, sister, did, uh, what did you think about what was going on around you as you walked? And she said, what do you mean? He said, well, did you see the group of young people that came through that, uh, was wearing their clothes to go play volleyball after church and she's like no he said well did you see the ladies that were putting the bibles back into the back of the pews for those that didn't didn't have a bible or didn't have their cell phones with them to look up the verses today no well did you see the band as they were putting up their instruments today after giving us such a wonderful song service and she's like no i didn't and uh, he said, so you didn't see any of those things? And she's like, no, I was too busy watching my glass of water. How was I supposed to see all of that that was going on? He said, well, he said, if you would focus on that glass of water as closely as you did, he said, if you will focus on God, as closely as you did on that glass of water, you won't notice all the things that are going on around you. How true is that for our life? 
no matter what your religious beliefs are, if you focus on your own glass of water and keep focused on it so well that you don't want to spill any of it because you want to focus on what you're doing and on your life, you won't have time to worry about what others are doing. And you know what? Even if you do, if you see somebody that spills some of theirs, what about you reach over and you give them a little bit of yours? Maybe if we all did that, maybe if we shared our glasses of water rather than judge what each other are doing, all of our glasses would be full, our lives would be full, and we would have a whole lot less burdens to bear. So what do you think? I mean, I'm not trying to preach a sermon. Like I said, I'm just trying to talk to me because I know, I know I'm judgmental. Um, I'm sure there's many that would agree. I try to not be. I'm not perfect. Um, I'll, you'll never hear me say that I'm perfect about anything ever but um, I try hard some days are better than others some days I do okay other days I don't do worth a flip but um, I try so I just keep reminding myself put down those rocks and focus on that glass of water well that's enough of that I just wanted to share that what was on my heart with you today and let you know that starting this weekend I've got several videos that are going to be coming out Timothy I haven't forgot about your video um, fishing using the almanac hadn't forgot about that I will be doing that this weekend I've been waiting for the good days that are showing on the almanac to do some fishing with you and um, we'll test it out and uh, see see if it works. Um, I, I have a feeling we're gonna do okay. And um, we may be having goose dinner if it keeps on. He's why he's got to be right up here every time. But um, I want to also show you a little bit about what's going on around the homestead. Some of the things we've been doing throughout this week and this weekend's gonna be a busy one. It's gonna be a lot hotter, so, uh, but uh, we'll get by and we're gonna do okay. Anyway, lots of things coming up. Um, I want to show you also in the next few videos, I want to show you something very special that we've come up with and, um, but I'm not gonna tell you what it is yet, so. Y'all have a great afternoon. I love y'all. I hope uh, hope I didn't get everybody to <laughs> turn me off by, by um, doing something a little bit heavier than I normally do, but uh, I love y'all and I, I do like to share with you what's going on with me no matter, you know, no matter what it is. Anyway, I will talk to y'all later. Have a great afternoon. Mountain Patriot Homestead, signing out.